set. Okay, everybody, quiet on the set. Scene one, take ten, Marker. Joel Levison's office? No, I'm sorry, he's not in yet. May I take a message? Yes, Mr. Levy, I'll take a call. I never say that. He's either in conference, in a meeting. He's always in. Now, who is that? A Larry Levy? I hope there was nothing in the trades this morning, was there? Well, I don't know. The mail's late. Well, go get him. Now. I want them back here before he arrives. Griffin, hi. Griffin, hi. A a Adam Simon. I, I know we're not supposed to meet till next week, but a lot of heat coming out of this one. I we were meeting next well, week. yeah, I just wanted to plant the seed in your head just now, just so that, you know, it could so I'm booked up. I okay, can't well, hear just a picture right this. Now. Picture this, okay? It's a planet in the far, far future. It's a planet with two suns. Who plays the sun? No, 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 suns. Large solar discs. Listen, you got to run this idea by Bonnie Sherrill. The pictures they make these days are all MTV. Cut, 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 cut. The opening shot of uh, Wells' Touch of Evil was six and a half minutes long. Six and a half minutes long? Well, three or four anyway. He set up the whole picture with that one tracking shot. My father was uh, key grip on that shoot. Hey, what about absolute beginners, man? That was an extraordinary shot. What the hell was that? I've never heard of it. It's Julian Temple. Oh, it's an English film. Well, we're we're talking about American right. movies. Orson Welles. Right. Mass. Hey, Greeno, please. I've got Calisto. Hi, Buck. How are you? Good. How you doing? Good. What do you got for me? Okay. Here it is. The Graduate, Part Two. Oh, good. good. Now listen. The three principals are still with us. Uh, Dustin Hoffman, Anne Bancroft, Catherine Ross. Mm -hmm. 25 years later, and so are the characters, Ben, Elaine, and Mrs. Robinson. Ben and Elaine are married, still. They live in a big old spooky house up in Northern California somewhere. And Mrs. Robinson lives with them. Mm. Her aging mother, who's had a stroke, and Mrs. Robinson lives, has Mrs. a stroke. Mrs. Robinson has a stroke, so she can't talk. It's going to be funny? Yeah, it'll be funny. With Dark a stroke? and weird and funny and with a stroke. OK. Maybe it's not a stroke. Maybe it's, I don't know what anyway, it is. Anyway, go on. It's a malady of some sort. Okay. She's up there in the bedroom upstairs listening to everything that happens. They've got a daughter who's just graduated that's from good, college. That's good, that's good. Young blood. 22, 23-year-old, like a Julia, Julia Roberts. Roberts. Right, right, Excuse right. me. Yes. What did you let me do with these scripts? Uh, that goes to Bonnie Chereau. Okay. And uh, find out from Studio Security how Adam Simon got on the lot. I want to okay. know. Adam Simon? OK. OK? Yes, go ahead. Julia Roberts yes, comes Julia home. Roberts Their comes daughter, home. the graduate. Yes, and she's the, the new graduate. Her, the, the new graduate. The post -grad. hey, Griffin loved it. He, he just wanted me to run it, run it by you. It's a hardy band of human survivors. Listen, Generations removed from the mothership. They have no okay? history, only mythology. They've lost all their technological knowledge. They have only you. rudimentary you mathematical you skills. It's not about words. You've got to visualize. Jimmy? Jimmy, are you okay? What happened? Hey, kid, 25 hey, kid. Are you all right? I say, my name is Jimmy Chase. Hey, that's Adam Simon. Yeah, how are you doing, kid? I just had me. I was just talking. All right. Yeah, it was good. Hey, yeah. Rebecca de Mornay, actually, you're much better looking. Um, no. No, I'm not Rebecca de Mornay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Do you know where Joel Levinson's office is? The Mr. Levinson, head of the studio. And the cute guys. But it's quite, it's quite moving. It'll rip your heart out. In fact, this is the area right here where we make a lot of decisions to give a green light to a picture like that. Right here. We're going to go about 17 stories high if we can. We're going to continue using all the Sony products. Domo arigato to, to the Sony products, really. In fact, if you need someone to eat some sashimi with you, you can give me a ring because here, right here. I know that you're just seeing it. Girl. Traffic to Malibu is impossible. Morning, Joe. Sandy, park the car, please. Morning, Marty. Annie. Hi. Morning. So, uh, what's all this talk going around here about uh, heads will roll? The bank's putting screws to us. Harvey Goldman's son's coming out from Boston. I don't like it. Edgy Goldman's a pipsqueak. Can't be serious. You know, 
Some changes are going on around here. It's always the way. It happened at Paramount three years ago. Columbia's going through it now. I hear we're looking to replace Griffin. Griffin? Mm -hmm. I don't believe it with who? Burr, Kirkpatrick, maybe Larry Levy. Yeah. Yeah, well, I want to know why the security's so lax. That's why. Well, I'll talk to you about it later. I'm in the middle of the pitch. Okay. Listen. Yeah, okay. Go ahead. Okay. okay. It's a TV star, and she goes on like safari a to Africa. You're talking about a TV star and a motion picture? No, no, not a real TV star. It would be played by a movie star. star. A movie star Nobody, playing a television Julia, star Julia, in a major motion picture. Julia be good. Right. Dolly right. Parton Lily. Lily. be good. Right. Dolly. I, you know, I, I, yeah. I like Goldie. I like Goldie. Goldie. Okay. Great, because we have a relationship, and, and that would Goldie be great. Goes great. Goldie goes to Africa. Goldie goes to Africa. She becomes worshipped. Worshipped. Well, she's failed by this tribe. Small, of small people. But then she has to go She's failed by this tribe, and they worship her, but so, then... And oh, okay, I see. It's a kind of like a gods must be crazy, except the Coke bottle's now a television actress. Yeah, it's exactly That's, right. It's out of Africa meets Pretty Woman. Well, and she has you know to decide what? whether you to stay with the TV do. show or save it this entire Africa tribe. Hey, now, where's Griffin Mill? Right here. Hey, hey, you're Martin Scorsese. Oh, but I know Harvey Keitel. I know you do. Hey, I loved really? Cape Fear. My old <laughs> man worked for Hitchcock, too. Yeah. Rope. It's a masterpiece. The story wasn't any good. We shot the whole thing without cuts. I hate all this cut, cut, cut. Oh, yeah, well, what about uh, Bertolucci, that great track he shot with Winger in Sheltering Sky? I didn't see it. Touch of evil. That was. Well, Where's it's 8 o'clock? Oh, Honest, I have. Commissary. Whitney, I stuck my neck out for you to get this job. I, Who are you with? I, I, I was there with, with um, Alan Rudolph. What were you doing with Alan Rudolph? <laughs> Well, no, he asked me. He asked me to have coffee, and he was telling me this idea he had. So what Whitney, am I going to say? Whitney, you're my assistant. You don't get involved with writers. But I wasn't getting involved. I was just listening to this amazing idea he had. You, well, I told him he'd given it to you. What's your pitch? It's the best. Well, is political scary? Political doesn't scare me. Radical political scares me. This political political scares politely me. politely politically radical. But is it it's, funny? It's funny. It's, it's funny. a funny political it, thing. It's a funny, and it's a thriller, too. It's a thriller. It's, and it's all at once. So uh, what's the story? Well, I want Bruce Willis. Mm -hmm. I think I can talk to him. Um, it's a story about a senator, a bad guy senator at first. Uh, and he's traveling around the country on the country's dime, you know, uh, like that Sununu guy used to. I see, so sort of a cynical political thriller comedy. Yeah, but it's got a heart. Uh, in the right spot. Uh -huh. And anyway, he has an accident. An and accident? Be, yeah, and he becomes clairvoyant, like a oh, psychic. Oh, I see. Yeah. So, so it's kind of a psychic political thriller comedy with a heart. With a heart. And uh, not unlike Ghost meets Manchurian Candidate. Go on, go on. I'm listening. Anyway, he can start to read people's minds. And when he gets to the president's mind, it's completely blank. Completely blank. I get you anything. I'd like a beer, please. We don't have beer. Wine, red wine, please. Of course, if someone gets killed at the end, they always do in political thrillers. Griffin Mills' office. Yeah, I know that. Can you put him on? It's an intriguing idea, Jim. May I ask who's calling, please? Days. Okay, and we got to get somebody really dangerous. He's in the meeting, I'm with you there. You know, Bruce Willis or Mel Gibson? Great. Let me get back to you. Thanks. Excuse me, sir. Shit, lady. You'll get back. Do you see my binoc anyway? Do you know how many times?